वेलकम बैक माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम वरहमतुल्लाहि वबरकातहु आई एम मिस्टर फैज अहिल्ला आई विल स्टार्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर दैट इज कॉल्ड डाइजेशन एंड एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ क्लास 11th एंड आई विल टेक इट एज फर्स्ट फर्स्ट लेक्चर टुडे दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन एंड इट्स टाइप्स ओके न्यूट्रिशन हाउ कैन यू डिफाइन न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम लेट इन वर्ड न्यूट्रीन मीनस टू नरिश न्यूट्रीन मीनस टू नरिश सो वट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ इनटेक ऑफ फूड and it is utilization is called a nutrition the process of intake of food and its utilization is called a nutrition another definition the process of obtaining nutrients from the food we eat is also called a nutrition you know what are nutrients nutrients are the components present in the food like carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals all these components are present in food so these are called nutrients so during nutrition we are getting these nutrients from the food we eat that is also called a nutrition okay now another definition the process of taking food to maintain health to maintain health is also called a nutrition as you know we are taking protective foods protective foods maintain our our health they protect us from diseases so the process of taking food to maintain health is also called nutrition okay now the general definition you remember it properly the sum total sum total of some total of all the processes in which living organisms take food and make it use make it use for various biological activities is called a nutrition so nutrition it is a broad term it is a collection of various terms some total of all the processes some total of all the processes there are many processes suppose we first take food this is called ingestion then the food gets us digested that is another process that is called a digestion then the digested food gets us absorbed into the blood that is called absorption then the digested food reaches to cells where it gets us assimilated that is called assimilation and some undigested food remains over there that comes out that is called ejection so nutrition is a broad term it is the sum total of all the processes in which living organism will take food and utilize it in the body is collectively called as nutrition okay now so far as this nutrition is concerned it is broadly divided into two types nutrition it is broadly divided into two types one is autotrophic 
the another is heterotrophic heterotrophic autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition now today we will discuss here autotrophic mode of nutrition now what is autotrophic mode of nutrition as the name indicates auto auto means self trophy means nourishment trophy means nourishment auto means self and trophy means nourishment so autotrophic nutrition is defined as the type of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food themselves from the raw materials utilizing energy okay it is the type of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food themselves shall i try to understand it is a type of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food themselves from raw materials utilizing energy utilizing energy it is the type of nutrition in which organisms manufacture their own food from the from the raw materials utilizing energy in it they need energy for the manufacture of food so this type of nutrition is called autotrophic nutrition okay the organisms showing this type of nutrition are called autotrophs the organisms showing this type of nutrition this type of nutrition nutrition are called autotrophs autotrophs shavas autotrophs so autotrophs are the organisms which prepare their own food themselves they are called autotrophs or we can say producers they are also called as producers they create food for themselves and for others that is why they are called producers they produce food for themselves and for others okay shavash now the autotrophs include all green plants for example all green plants blue green algae euglena volvox green bacteria and non green bacteria okay shall i try to understand all green plants blue green algae euglena volvox green bacteria and non green bacteria all these are autotrophs they prepare their own food themselves okay since this nutrition autotrophic nutrition it is most common in plants that is why this type of nutrition is also called as holophytic nutrition okay since since it is most common most common in plants and hence called hence called holophytic holophytic nutrition yes holophytic holos holos means whole phytic means plant go so all plants they prepare their own food themselves that is why this autotrophic nutrition is also called as holophytic nutrition shavash now this autotrophic nutrition autotrophic nutrition autotrophic nutrition is of further two types it is further divided into two types number one is photo 
ऑटो ट्रॉफिक फोटो ऑटो ट्रॉफिक एंड नंबर सेकंड इज कीमो ऑटो ट्रॉफिक फोटो ऑटो ट्रॉफिक एंड कीमो ऑटो ट्रॉफिक फोटो ऑटो ट्रॉफिक एंड कीमो ऑटो ट्रॉफिक शाबाश व्हाट डज दिस मीन फोटो ऑटो ट्रॉफिक फोटो ऑटो ट्रॉफिक दे आल्सो द ऑर्गेनिजम्स also prepare their own food themselves from the raw materials utilizing energy that is derived from sunlight that is derived from sunlight that is why this type of nutrition is called photo autotrophic nutrition okay in this case organisms prepare organisms prepare their own food own food from raw materials from raw materials utilizing energy okay shavash we in this case organisms prepare their own food from raw materials utilizing energy derived from derived from sunlight okay if they need they need energy for the manufacture of food and that is derived from sunlight that is why this nutrition is called photo autotrophic mode of nutrition the organisms showing this type of nutrition are called photo autotrophs the organisms showing this type of nutrition are called photo auto photo autotrophs okay yes shavash this photo autotrophic nutrition is present in it is reported in all green plants blue green algae euglena volvox urina volvox and green bacteria green bacteria they also show photo autotrophic mode of nutrition okay all green plants blue green algae euglena volvox green bacteria they are all photo autotrophs they prepare their own food from the raw materials by utilizing energy that is derived from sunlight so that is why this type of nutrition is called a photo autotrophic mode of nutrition and the organism showing this type of nutrition are called a photo autotrophs like all green plants blue green algae euglena volvox and green bacteria okay shavash this photo autotrophic nutrition photo autotrophic nutrition is again of two types or we can say during this uh, nutrition photosynthesis occurs and uh, during photosynthesis plants or we can say the autotrophs they can prepare their own food themselves by the process of photosynthesis so photosynthesis occurs in two ways or we can say photo autotrophic nutrition occurs in two ways one is oxygenic oxygenic photosynthesis another is anoxygenic one is oxygenic another is anoxygenic photosynthesis or we can say anoxygenic photo autotrophic nutrition now what is oxygenic photosynthesis and what is oxygenic photo autotrophic nutrition it is the type of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food from raw materials like carbon dioxide and water here car here raw materials Uh, are carbon dioxide and water and during this process oxygen is released oxygen is released that is why this type of nutrition nutrition is called oxygenic photo autotrophic nutrition or we can say oxygenic photosynthesis so we write here in this case organisms prepare their own food from raw materials 
organisms prepare their own food from raw materials like carbon dioxide and water utilizing energy utilizing energy derived from sunlight with the release of with the release of oxygen with the release of oxygen so it is the type of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food from raw materials raw materials are here, raw materials are here carbon dioxide and water utilizing energy derived from sunlight with the release of oxygen so during this process oxygen is released that is why this type of nutrition is called oxygenic photo autotrophic mode of nutrition or we can say oxygenic photosynthesis for example suppose this is one raw material carbon dioxide and this is water and they form c6 h12o6 plus water plus oxygen oxygen in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll okay so in this case organisms prepare their own food from the raw materials like carbon dioxide and water and they manufacture food that is called a glucose but during this process oxygen is released this is oxygen oxygen is released and that is why this is called oxygenic photosynthesis okay now the organism is showing this type of nutrition they are for example all green plants all green plants blue green algae euglena walnut green plants all green plants blue green algae or we can say cyanobacteria euglena walnut they show oxygenic photosynthesis oxygenic photo autotrophic nutrition they utilize raw material here that is carbon dioxide and water you will uh, study in photosynthesis in botany chapter botany uh, photosynthesis and you will see their light reaction light phase and you will see their oxygen oxygen is released it is released from the splitting of water from the splitting of water okay during light phase oxygen is released so that is why here the raw material water is used here okay so all green plants blue green algae euglena volvox they show photo they show oxygenic photo autotrophic mode of nutrition or we can say oxygenic photosynthesis okay so number next is anoxygenic what is anoxygenic photosynthesis anoxygenic what is anoxygenic as the name indicates anoxygenic means oxygen is not released there okay so in this case organisms also prepare their own food from the raw materials but the raw material here are carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide instead of water here instead of water hydrogen sulfide is used here okay that is why this is and then oxygen is not released and that is why this nutrition is called as anoxygenic anoxygenic means without the release of oxygen okay so in this case in this case organisms prepare their own food their own food from raw materials raw materials like carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide h2s utilizing energy derived from derived from sunlight derived from sunlight 
without the release of without the release of oxygen without the release of oxygen without the release of oxygen okay so an oxygenic in this case organisms prepare their own food from raw materials like carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide utilizing energy that is derived from sunlight sunlight is also uh, utilized here but during this process oxygen is not released why not released because they utilized they used hydrogen sulfide instead of water like this carbon dioxide plus h2s hydrogen sulfide they form glucose c 6 h 2 o 6 plus water plus sulfur not oxygen not oxygen hydrogen sulfide is used here hydrogen sulfide hydrogen sulfide is used here as a raw material and glucose is formed here glucose oxygen is not released but instead of oxygen here sulfur is released sulfur sulfur is released so it is the type of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food from raw materials like carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide utilizing energy derived from sunlight but here oxygen is not released instead of oxygen sulfur is released here that is why this type of nutrition is also called as is called as is called as anoxygenic anoxygenic photosynthesis or we can say anoxygenic photoautotrophic mode of nutrition for example example green bacteria green bacteria green bacteria green bacteria they utilize hydrogen sulfide not water for the manufacture of food that is why oxygen is not released here go green bacteria green bacteria it means they have chlorophyll they have capability to trap solar energy but instead of water they have utilized hydrogen sulfide and that is why oxygen is not released during this process instead of oxygen sulfur is released okay so this is called anoxygenic photoautotrophic mode of nutrition or we can say anoxygenic photosynthesis number next type that is chemoautotrophic chemo autotrophic mode of nutrition chemo autotrophic nutrition chemo autotrophic nutrition shall i try to understand chemo autotrophic nutrition what does this mean chemo autotrophic chemo autotrophic means organisms also prepare their own food from chemicals from chemicals utilizing energy derived from chemical reactions they do not get energy from sunlight during chemical reactions energy is released and such energy is later on utilized in the manufacture of food such such process is called chemosynthesis here chemosynthesis occurs okay so it uh, it is the type of nutrition type of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food their own food organisms prepare their own food from chemicals from chemicals utilizing energy derived from chemical reactions derived from chemical reactions carried out by by non green bacteria non green bacteria shall i try to understand it is a type of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food from chemicals utilizing energy derived from chemical reactions they perform some chemical reactions first then energy is released such energy is utilized for the manufacture of food but the chemical reactions are carried out by here by non green bacteria non green bacteria okay 
लाइक लाइक नाइट्रोजन फिक्स इन बैक्टीरिया नाइट्रोजन फिक्स इन बैक्टीरिया सल्फर बैक्टीरिया सल्फर बैक्टीरिया आयरन बैक्टीरिया नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग बैक्टीरिया सल्फर बैक्टीरिया आयरन बैक्टीरिया ऑल दीज आर नॉन ग्रीन बैक्टीरिया नॉन ग्रीन मीन्स दे लैक क्लोरोफिल सो व्हेन दे लैक क्लोरोफिल दे आर नॉट इन ए पोजिशन टू ट्रैप सोलर एनर्जी दे आर नॉट इन ए पोजिशन टू ट्रैप सोलर एनर्जी That is why they skip towards chemoautotrophic mode of nutrition. Okay, so it is the type of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food from chemicals, utilizing energy derived from chemical reactions. Chemical reactions, such chemical reactions are carried out by non-green bacteria like nitrogen-fixing bacteria, sulfur bacteria, iron bacteria. All these are non-green bacteria. Okay, they are present in the oceans. oceans ocean floor ocean floor that is why sunlight did not reach there okay so they show chemoautotrophic mode of nutrition i will illustrate it with the help of example shall i try to understand ammonia nh3 this is nitroso monos this is nitrogen fixing bacteria a nitrogen fixing bacteria here ammonia undergoes oxidation by nitroso monos and form hno2 plus water plus energy shall i try to understand this is ammonia it undergoes oxidation by nitrogen fixing bacteria that is called nitrosomonas and form nitrous nitrous acid the with the release of energy here energy is released so this is the chemical reaction carried out by nitrosomonas another one another uh, further oxidation is here hno2 undergoes further oxidation by another nitrogen fixing bacteria that is called a nitrobacter into hno3 nitric acid nitric acid plus energy so energy is also released there so nitrosomonas uh, in in presence of this nitrosomonas ammonia undergoes oxidation and form nitrous acid plus water and energy uh, This nitrous acid undergoes further oxidation by nitrobacter and form nitric acid plus energy. It is because of this energy, this carbon dioxide and hydrogen, carbon dioxide and hydrogen reacts and form glucose. C six plus H double O six plus water. This is energy. Okay. So in presence of this nitrosomonas, ammonia undergoes oxidation and form nitrous acid plus water and plus energy. Okay, so nitrobacter due to nitrobacter, nitrous acid undergoes further oxidation and form nitric acid plus energy. This energy is then utilized uh, for the manufacture of food. Carbon dioxide undergoes fixation into glucose. This is glucose. so here glucose is also manufactured food is manufactured so it is autotrophic food is manufactured but light is not utilized here as they lack chlorophyll they have not chlorophyll they are non green but during chemical reactions these are chemical reactions they carry out some chemical reactions first energy is released and such energy is utilized later on for the manufacture of food these raw materials they undergo reaction and they form glucose okay they form food this type of nutrition is called chemoautotrophic mode of nutrition or we can say this process which uh, which occurs here that is called chemosynthesis in the first uh, type their photosynthesis occurs here chemosynthesis occurs okay so this was my today's lecture about autotrophic mode of nutrition so tomorrow inshallah i will deliver another lecture 
for heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.